thanks for tuning in. Today I wanted to share easy carne asada. Yay! So we'll just get straight to the recipe. Three pounds carne asada flat meat, or you could use flank steak. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the oven here. So, so three pounds. All right, so this is the meat here. This is about three pounds of carne asada flat meat. All right, so let's go ahead and put that in, if you can get me. I'm gonna have my little son here, He's supposed to be sleeping, but he wanted to help. So three pounds of this delicious stuff here. Just show you a close up here. Okay, so the next one is two thirds cup olive oil. You want to go ahead and put that in, son? Good job. Okay. The next ingredient is three limes. So I don't have three limes, but I'm estimating that each lime produces about one teaspoon. So let's go ahead and put three teaspoons in. Okay. So this is one teaspoon, you want to hold it? Mm -hmm. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, three teaspoons of lime juice. One half cup cilantro chopped. So um, here it is. I went ahead and pre-chopped it. And then uh, eight cloves of garlic. So this is my stock garlic. And count eight, one half teaspoons is about um, how much we should put in. How many did you do? Three. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight. All right, good job. Next one is two teaspoons of cumin. So this is cumin. You want to smell it, Kai? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is cumin, ground cumin, two teaspoons. Okay, so let's see. Let me help you here. Kind of tough because the mouth of the jar is tight. Okay. So I could have done this ahead of time to marinate it, but we're just gonna go ahead and do it this way so that um, we can get the ingredients in view. And then one teaspoon of chili powder. Chili powder. Okay, go ahead and put it in for me. Kinda put it everywhere, oops. Okay, one teaspoon of salt. Oops, you spill, put it over the shoulder. All right, go ahead and put that in. Okay, and one half teaspoon pepper. Wanna put this pepper in? Go ahead. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up before it gets hot here. And uh, carne asada is one of my favorite, favorite pieces of protein, but I hardly get to eat it. I saw it in the store today, and I thought it might be a good uh, recipe to do. Um, so I kind of grew up on uh, Mexican food. I grew up near the Mexican border, and I love guacamole and these cuts of meat. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix it around. I didn't have time to marinate this. So what we're gonna do is just, we're gonna mix it around in the sauce and depending on how it cooks, you will see. So um, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mix it around a little bit. 
So it's not too hot yet, but what I'm going to do is, since I didn't have time to marinate it, you can see the meat there. I'm going to go ahead and marinate it by hand really, really quick before it gets too hot. I really wanted to show the ingredients, but because of that, I didn't have time to actually mix it around, but I am going to go ahead and mix it around with my hands here so we could get a better distribution of all the herbs. So the suggestion for this is to marinate it overnight, especially if you're gonna be doing it on the barbecue the next day. And um, ah, who has time to barbecue outside? So we are just gonna do a pot, kind of easy carne asada. And I'm going to be putting these into a carne asada burrito, a carne asada quesadilla, and a carne asada salad. Okay. And just a little bit more mix here. And I could already smell all the spices working together to try to give it a good taste. A good strong taste. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started now. Turn it here. And I just wanted to take a break from all the news um, and do something positive for today. And like I said, I just made my weekly um, trip to the market and I found these on sale. They're usually really expensive and usually they're pre-marinated, but um, I like to make my own marinade for my um, protein cuts. I don't usually buy stuff that is pre-marinated because I don't know what ingredients they um, used and I don't know the exact taste that they're trying to kind of produce. So this is an easy way of getting your carne asada and making your own marinade. So this is three pounds of carne asada, flat meat, or you could use flank steak if you have that. One third cup of olive oil, three limes, which I estimate is about three teaspoons, one half cup of uh, cilantro chopped, eight garlic cloves, two teaspoons of cumin, one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of salt, and one half teaspoon of pepper. Okay, so I am going to transfer this to a higher yielding fire. So it'll cook a little bit faster. And then I'm gonna get my other pot ready for the quesadilla. So what I did here is I took two large tortillas and I greased the bottom of one of the tortillas with butter. And then um, what, I, what kind of cheese I had was mozzarella cheese. So that is all mozzarella cheese. And then I went ahead and put some butter on the other side of the quesadilla. And so that will be ready to receive a piece of meat. And the kids love steak quesadilla. So they are waiting for this to be ready.
So we don't want our meat too chewy. So I have to see how this has progressed in cooking. It's a little bit of redness. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to reduce the sauce a little bit or I will lose a lot of the herbal taste because I didn't have time to marinate this. So this is something really, really nice about cooking, reducing the sauce. And then you could re-marinate your protein. There's the meat right here. You could re-marinate your protein with the sauce. So sauce reduction is such an important crucial part of cooking and I do that a lot with a lot of my Asian fusion recipes with the soy sauce. Okay, so I'm to try to put the quesadilla fire on low. sauce really thick. When I put the meat back in, some of the leftover sauce that was stuck to the meat will kind of thin it out again. Some of the mozzarella is already melting. Okay, so I'm gonna take this long piece of cooked carne asada. I'm just gonna chop it up a little bit into different parts of the quesadilla so that maybe every bite of the quesadilla has some meat in it. And this is a uh, large quesadilla, but the family is really hungry and um, no food goes to waste over here. I think I, in every video I tell everybody how much my son eats and he is in the background waiting for this. And my kids promise to watch the video so that when they wanna make some carne asada, quesadilla or burrito for their family. It's just right there. They could just pull me up on Lady Shake and Bake on youtube.com. 
and the video will be right there and easy enough instructions, yeah? <laughs> okay, so maybe one more piece here. Yummy, yummy. Okay, so the meat was just a little bit pink on the inside. Here's one that's still left with a little bit pink. So we don't want it super chewy. So I just left them a little bit pink. And I'm going to go ahead and put this back and turn the fire higher and flip it over. So my family loves quesadillas, but they are so, I would say, on the more expensive side when you can just basically buy a pack of tortillas, I don't know, 10 for two bucks, and then put the meat, and then just keep repeating the recipe over again for leftovers. But if you go get a quesadilla at the restaurant, I would say it's like $7 for this size. So uh, we will not be doing that. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we get here. Okay, let's see if I'm successful at flipping this. Here we go. All right. That was very successful. Okay, we'll let that cook a little bit. And I will be readying my carne asada burrito. Yay. So that is the very infamous food right there, the carne asada burrito. So it basically is the same thing as a quesadilla, but it's rolled up differently for sure. And you can add whatever you want to it. If you want to add rice to it, that's good. If you want to add gua guacamole to it, that's good too. So let me see what I have. I, I did pre-prepare some guacamole. I'm just cutting the meat a little bit here so I can make and showcase the burrito. Okay, let's see what we got here. There's a quesadilla. It's coming along well. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the plate. So here is cheesy carne asada quesadilla. And we can put some guacamole on top. There you go. There goes our first version with carne asada. All right, so the next version is going to be a carne asada burrito. Yummy. So the family tends to love their burritos without vegetables. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll it up without vegetables at this time and without rice. So you're just going to go ahead and put that meat in there. And how lucky are they that they are uh, getting served this delicious stuff. And the kids promise they'll watch the video later. So I had already put the meat here. 
And then I'm gonna gather the edges just like this. Push the meat a little bit over there. And just kind of roll it up. Okay, and roll it as tight as can be without breaking it. All right, so there you go, carne asada burrito. And I am going to be brave and cut it in half so you can see the inside. There you go, carne asada burrito. Remember, you can add whatever you want to it. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some guacamole on top. And my son is waiting for this. Here you go, son. You hungry? <laughs> I'm playing with him. Here you go. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> He's mad at me. He wants light. his burrito. <laughs> Your light went out. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have, mom is going to have the low carb version of carne asada. So I get to have it, a carne asada salad. So here we go. I'm just going to take a piece of carne asada meat and cut it over my greens. And um, who wants to get me uh, buttermilk ranch for my carne asada salad? <laughs> All right, buttermilk ranch. This is my carne asada salad. So there goes my third version of using the carne asada meat. It is a car mom's low carb carne asada salad. Yummy. So what do we have next? What else can we make out of carne asada? Let me look at my fridge really quick. <laughs> I think that, um, I'm kind of maxed out on how I could make a carne asada, but you know what? I need to make another burrito. So I'm going to make one more burrito before the end. I end the video. I have a different way. I just found a different way to make carne asada. Carne asada soft taco. Yay! You just take this, and then this is a palm size tortilla. Who wants the carne asada to soft taco? <laughs> Don't answer all at once. <laughs> They're just shy, they want it. So here it is, and then we're gonna put some guacamole in here. Yeah, and now we have Carne asada soft taco. Yummy, yummy. Okay. So I'm going to do one more demonstration of the carne asada burrito. And um, I hope you have enjoyed kind of this demonstration. And again, I didn't have time to marinate this and I'm not a barbecue kind of person. So this is the closest you're going to get when you do a pan fry carne asada. And um, no one's complaining over here because of that. It's still really, really delicious. But if you have time and you have the patience to barbecue, yes, please do this and um, marinate it overnight so the juice is kind of, um, it's uh, really herbal and the juice stick inside the meat. But I, I reduce the sauce so that I can get more of the flavor kind of retained because I didn't marinate it. So there you go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap it just like this, take the edges. And then we get some uh, 
cheese. So white cheese tastes really good in the carne asada, so this is mozzarella. Okay. All right, so just grab the edges, kind of make pull the meat to the edge there, and grab the edges, grab the meat underneath the first fold, and then just pull and as tight as it could be. All right, here you go, carne asada burrito. Well, here's just a sample of all of them. Um, I'm, I'm glad that you were able to uh, watch t this till the end, and I hope that you one day make this. Please take care, bye-bye.